welcome back to Salem Place Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm continuing right where I left off. So, from what I remember, I have to write a poem. So, uh, I don't know what to write, but we'll just click random stuff. I'm just r clicking random stuff because I don't know. I want to go towards Yuri, but I want to make sure I click the right things. I just clicked random stuff. Oh god, do I remember the voices I gave them? I don't remember. Hi again, Salen. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Haha. Uh -huh. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Seelin. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I don't remember what voice I gave Yuri. I'm sorry. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like she deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Well, that was before I kind of got forced or bribed to join this club. And last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mama, ma. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Anyway, Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. That is true, where they start with the same letter. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Celine always gives it her best as long as she's having fun. It's hard alternating the dialogue a bit, considering I'm playing as a guy character, but like I mentioned, I'm playing as a female character now since I gave my person a female name. Anyway, she helps me with busy work without me even asking. Yeah. Like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. Yeah, my room is like that too. And you almost set your house on fire once. Oh, God damn. Okay. I is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Celine can become good friends too. Uh, um... Sayori. Huh? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Uh, what? Well, well wait. S Sayori. Huh? Me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. Uh, Sayori reminds me of me when I'm hyper. Hypothetically speaking, another version of Rin. It's nothing really. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, that was Yuri speaking. Sorry. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking clearly. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. I can't speak. I'm sorry. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. 
It'll make me happy, no matter what. Uh, is that so? Yeah, I wouldn't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Yeah, yeah, I should probably read books like that. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's so cute, it's adorable. Just go on with it. Yuri's my wife. Just go on with it. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically, if I can't read that word, take the book. I took the book. Yeah, I'll just say that. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read her. That sounds like my life. Obviously. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening on to Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're all probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs though. Huh? Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But it's not like that at all, you know? I think in part one I gave Monica a higher voice. My throat is dead from work, so... I'm gonna tone it down a bit so that way I don't sound like a dying animal on the side of the road. Anyways, we just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Huh? That doesn't solve the problem though. I don't know what voice I gave Sayori in part one. I apologize if it's different now. Anyway. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we did come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. Uh, yeah, Sayori's got a point. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. That worked. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food would do the trick? Well, what kind of event doesn't involve food? Just saying. What kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! That works. Ah, good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. 
That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <sighs> Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Me too, Sayori. Me too. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. That sounds deep. And wrong. Whoa! Hi! Oh my god. A little jump scare, but it wasn't that scary. Ugh! I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. Great. I nearly fall off my chair. Ah, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Wait, what? It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. True. True. Does our school have a napping club? No. No one does, even though everyone wishes that club was true. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. <laughs> that sounds like my life, because all I do is eat, sleep, and work. And shower, of course. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know. I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Huh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? Uh, your expression, maybe? That's my guess. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Not really, I don't see anything. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Oh god, am I falling for Sayori? I wanted to fall in love with Yuri. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. It looks fine to me. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. Once again, I don't see anything. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. 
Yeah, that's true. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, creepy angle. I could just say that. I feel a little uncomfortable, but okay. This is so fun. Or funny or whatever. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Oh, great. Does this thing even fit you properly? Oh, gee, I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Huh. It did when I bought it. That doesn't mean it's going to fit you forever. Huh. <sighs> If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner than it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Oh, I feel uncomfortable saying that. You know, I'm, no, I'm not going to say it. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Her chest feels big. I'll just say that instead. Don't say that out loud. Anyway... You look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy! Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Oh, great. What's the point of me buttoning it if you're just gonna unbutton it? Phew, that's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep her unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Can I talk to Yuri now, please? <laughs> no offense to Sayori or anything. Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Yeah, that's true. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. That is true. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Alright. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, you just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Yeah, that's a struggle sometimes. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess so. Huh? So maybe you... You should come wake me up in the morning. Uh, how about no? You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Oh, right, I forgot about that. Yay! Ceiling, I can't wait to read yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. 
My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Okay. I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn paper from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Um, let's do Yuri first. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Oh, Yuri doesn't look impressed. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. Don't give me an anxiety attack. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why did you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that I might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? I kind of wrote more about Sayori in Natsuki, I think. Even though I wanted to go towards Yuri, but whatever. No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Ow. Oh. I couldn't help but notice that I'd spent several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable things I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. Ooh, interesting. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. My voice really sucks. Sorry. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, 
Isn't this supposed to be a literature club? All right. I can't read cursive that well, but I'll, I will do the best I can. A ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have whistled the test of time. The last to you get to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm my breathing air of the present by living in the past. The light flickers, I flicken back. Sorry if I read that really terribly. I cannot read a cursive. Hopefully those were the right words. If not, I apologize. I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. It's okay. I have terrible handwriting too. It's fine. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, that's because I can't read cursive. Ugh. Oh. Well, I just don't read script very often. That is true. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hmm. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Celina. Really? Sorry, my voice cracked. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In that case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about it. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Uh, let's do say over you. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Celine. Really? Uh, I love it. Oh, don't tell me it's because I picked words that are similar to Sayori's interest. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Huh. Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Well, I didn't even get to Natsuki yet, so we don't know. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a sealant poem. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> and that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. That's a little creepy, but okay. Sayori hugs the poem against her chest. Oh, wow. Don't make it awkward. You're so weird, Sayori. 
Everyone's weird. Just deal with it. It's fine. Huh. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, see, Lynn. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much more this means to her after all. Yeah? And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you on that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Yeah. We'll see about that. Well, at least I could read it much better. The handwriting is a little different. Anyway, dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, say over you. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No? J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. That sounds good. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. That is true. I get all cranky. That is true to me too. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> that was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Not like I have a choice. Let's do Monica. Hi, Ceylon. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. <laughs> good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, wanna share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Salen. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand to Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes you think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? 
I wouldn't be surprised if we had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Huh. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some sim similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you're showing in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Huh? You sure you're not reading into it too much? Oh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yeri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? That's a little deep, but okay. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experience a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way I find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Are you sure about that? Huh. <sighs> oh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes, a noisy neighbor, an angry girlfriend, or boyfriend, excuse me. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a cooler. No, I can't see ya. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other hand, was looking in. So, what do you think? Uh, it's very free form, if that's what you want to call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting an emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it could be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it had some kind of empathy recently. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'll just say that. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Eh, uh, hey, or whatever that word is. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. It's because it, it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something done on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. And last but not least, Natsuki. Well, 
Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. I don't want to get smacked. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Okay. Yeah? I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like this? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it that away from her. I read that wrong, sorry. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Oh, great. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the palm to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is... Cute? Cute? You just completely missed the symbolism or something. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, uh, I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Ooh, a burn! <laughs> um, well... I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. 
and see what did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly expiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Seelan liked my poem too, you know. She even told me if she was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, oh my. Um, is, is something gonna go wrong? I hope not. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, that's not what I... Uh, you... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Seelin appreciates my advice more than she appreciated yours. Huh? And how did you know she didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. What's with the music in the background? <laughs> uh... Um... Is everyone okay? No. <laughs> well, you know what? I wasn't the only one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as ceiling started showing up. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! No, Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting you guys. Sorry my voice is messed up. Suddenly, both girls turned toward me as if they just noticed I was just standing here. Well... Yeah. <laughs> this is so awkward. Seelin. She... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convulted for no reason? I think that's how you say that word, I don't know. Still though, what's with the music in the background? It's making me giggle. <laughs> the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain this to her, Seelin. But wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey our complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Seelin? Um, well, well, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? <laughs> I'm wondering that myself. It's not like I know anything about writing, it's true. I don't. <laughs> but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, the good thing, right? <laughs> so of course that's going to be- actually wait, let me save. Actually wait, I can either side with Natsuki, Yuri, or grab Sayori for help. Um, I have my feels up for S Yuri, but... Oh, I'm gonna grip Sayori to help. <laughs> help. Uh, Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. Oh, great, she looks angry. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Oh no, the music stopped. I hope that's not a bad thing. Sayori, I need your help. <laughs> uh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Yeah! Explain yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to calm down. Seelin. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. 
Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's been. She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Ooh, roasted. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Yeah, is that too much to ask for? Oh, Sayori's crying too. You can see it in her sprite thing. Or character model, whatever you people call it. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feels with a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Hopefully not graphic. Everyone's so talented. And then there's me. So, why are we fighting? Be- Because... Well... Also... Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Okay, you don't. Okay, Sayori, we get the concept. You don't need to say it. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. uh. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Uh, I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. Well, I did not whisper, sorry. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. It's okay, I'm not either. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. Or interfere, I guess it's another word to call that. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Huh. Nah. <laughs> it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Uh, yeah, you could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Don't tell me that's a hint for something gonna happen later on to Sayori. Oh god. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to turn into a knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was okay until Natsuki and Yeri were arguing and then goofy music started to play in the background. I'm just gonna point that out. <laughs> it was a lot of fun until the arguing happened. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Minus the fighting part. <laughs> Ceiling, how about you? Yeah, I would say the same. Minus the fighting part. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. Sure. So your poems will turn out even better. Yeah, we can go with that too. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Sailin, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Yay! 
say, you already beams at me. I don't know what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's another word for hugging. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, what between Yuri and Natsuki. Y yeah. Yeah, that happened. Does that kind of thing happen very often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, if that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Celine, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Uh, <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh, <laughs> that was a terrible sigh, I'm sorry. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well... We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I thought on, on the head it would work too, but whatever. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Alright, well that was pretty interesting. I'll leave part two here and I'll see you all next time in another Doki Doki Literature Club video or whatever I make next. Goodbye for now. <laughs> Da 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 da